Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be setting up the brand new game native steam pc game simulator on our android devices which was just released few days ago this is an completely open source brand new steam game simulator which even has the drm compatibility which means you can emulate your steam games directly on your android devices even with drm and this is a fork version of the pluvia steam game simulator you guys can see it has performance boost enhanced graphics along with that brand new on screen controller layout stability and quality improvements the developer has also posted few steam games running on his own android devices as you will be able to see outer wilds even raji is being emulated and much more as i mentioned before game native is completely open source and in future it will even have the vortex graphics driver support so it works even on unsupported snapdragon processor and mali gpu android devices to get started for today's video we'll be using the 0.2.7 version of the game native emulator which was released 3 days ago and you guys can see the change log for yourself this is a stable project which is updated on a regular basis With all of that out of the way, let's start setting up this simulator right away. When you open it up for the first time, it will ask you to log into your Steam account. You can either log in directly or you can also log in using QR code. For this, you'll need to have the Steam client app on your iOS or Android device. Afterward, simply go to Authenticator and make sure to scan the QR code. Once that has been done, you will be successfully signed in on your Android device. As you guys can see, thank you for using Game Native. Please support the original developers of Pluvia Emulator. Let's just go ahead and tap on the Close button, and you guys. can see the my entire steam games library will be shown inside this emulator and by the way the device which i am using for today's video is my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra now currently this emulator only launches in the portrait view so unfortunately you can't really use this emulator in a landscape view for now you guys can see all of the steam games that are available in my library are present here apparently drm games should be working inside this emulator so we'll be able to try out multiple games like halo infinite so in future i'll be trying out games like forza horizon 4 Fall Guys, Grid Legends, Halo Infinite, and much more on my Android device in the Game Native Emulator dedicated gameplay test video. We also have CS2 and much more. But for today's video, let's just go ahead and try out some small games to see if at least that works, and then we'll be moving forward. To start off, we'll be starting with a small game, which is the Pico Park Classic Edition. Let's just go ahead and tap on this button after a tap on Proceed, and at the top left corner, you can also open the store page if you want to check it out. Once your game has been started, you will get either Play or Uninstall option, and if you tap tap on this three lines you can edit container settings so simply tap on proceed and wait until this setup has been completed once the process has been completed you will be able to start customizing some of the settings such as screen size by default it is selected as 854 by 480p but for today's video we'll go with 1280 by 800p in terms of graphics driver you either get turnip driver as well as virgil graphics driver go with turnip obviously snapdragon devices will have the best compatibility by default the latest 25.1.0 graphics driver will be selected You don't really need to change anything. Just audio driver set it to pulse audio. Enable show FPS option. Video memory size make sure to set it to 6 GB. Depending on the amount of RAM that is available on your Android device, if you have 16 GB RAM, then you can even go up to 8 GB of uh, video memory size. Once that has been done, you can keep everything else as default, except for the Box 64 preset, which make sure to set up to performance and startup selection set it to aggressive. Now these are obviously Win Later settings because the Pluvia emulator is based on Win Later. and game native is based on pluvia once that has been done we'll simply tap on the play button here we have the boot up screen for the game native emulator where it is saying booting up may take few minutes at first start so make sure to be patient until the game actually starts it may or may not start depending on the game that you are trying to emulate on your android device and you need at least a snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor or about to emulate steam games on your mobile device so let's wait and find out if our game starts and here we go it seems we have a black screen as you guys can see pico park the game that i am trying to emulate and unfortunately as you just saw the game crashed which means for some reason this game won't be working on my android device let's try changing the dx wrapper version here we'll just go ahead and set it to 2.3.1 and box 64 version to 0.3.4 let's tap on the save button after a tap on play once again to see if this game works if not then we'll move on towards our next game which is going to be raji so here we go once again we have the boot up screen of pico park will it work because I have tried this game out in Pluvia emulator and it used to work but unfortunately here in game native it's not working so let me quickly refresh my steam games library and as you guys can see I have the Raji gameplay demo let's just go ahead and tap on this button and add this game on our android device the best thing about emulating steam games is that you can emulate the games that you own directly on your android device and all of your progress should also be synced to your steam account well let's wait until this has been added and I'll be back so here Raji has been successfully added let's tap on the play button and then 
Unfortunately, it seems that our games are just not booting up. I want to ask you guys if there are any best settings which I am missing out on and if there may be any reason why this simulator is not working on my Android tablet which has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. We'll try one last time by choosing the old graphics driver and also choosing a different DX wrapper which is 2.3.1 and let's tap on the play button to finally see if it boots one last time before we end this video. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll be back if the game starts or if the emulator force stops. So you guys can see the emulator is not booting nor the game is working. Unfortunately that's I guess is about it for the game native windows emulator. Goodbye.